Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this bootcamp training course and the topic for today will be the post-processors. We, we've already talked about this in some of the previous uh, videos um, with the idea that uh, we are working and programming parts inside Sprutcam and, and, and then uh, these uh, programs, as we saw already under simulation, they create this kind of information which we call CL data. But this CL data uh, is not understood by the machines, by CNC equipment or others. So this CL data is a kind of uh, intermediate, intermediate uh, information that uh, we can uh, configure and uh, output as uh, another type of uh, information that each machine understands. And that is the concept to create a post-processor because the post-processor is a set of instructions that uh, allow to uh, convert this CL data information to the information th the machine will understand. So in this button here, post-processor, I can choose the post-processor. So I can have multiple post-processors. Uh, usually each machine has some very specific things to, uh, to work with the programs. And uh, you see I can choose, for example, an Heidenheim, a Fanuc, whatever. And uh, I will output uh, a program with a file extension and so on, just saying run and it will create something, okay? So I'm not sure what will happen. Okay, and I get this kind of uh, output uh, result. But the idea here is to create this file that has these instructions. So here I post-process the CL data information, but I need to create a post-processor. And I can create it uh, either uh, on the start menu where I have a post-processor generator, uh, as I can do it in here. So I can go, I, I have a specific environment, it's a programming environment and uh, this is uh, uh, something that uh, you need to um, study and understand specifically. It's impossible to explain you how to work with this in one lesson. Um, but okay, the idea here it is to create the instructions to have the post-processor working. So uh, this is the environment and you have some instructions um, in one PDF file that comes with a, with a standard installation of Sprutcam where everything is explained about this post-processor creation which uh, you should read because this is the information needed to uh, enter in this, uh, I would say, this world of uh, programming. So this is a brief uh, introduction and a brief explanation where you can find the information. So uh, with this and for sure if you need uh, help uh, creating these post-processor files, uh, let us know. Uh, we will give you all the necessary support, but uh, it would be impossible to, to explain this. There are examples done also in some places on the internet and we can help you on that. So I hope that this brief introduction is enough to, um, to guide you in this path. Any help, uh, let us know through the usual channels.